Hey everyone, welcome to Newt's Outdoors. My name is Colin and today we're going to go out fishing for a little bit on the Wisconsin River. So we'll see how it goes. It's been a snowing for a little bit today, but otherwise it's been pretty overcast-like. A little wet outside, but you know, it's not looking too bad. So we'll see if we can catch anything today. Oh dude, this is awesome weather. Mm-hmm. Eating the burrito on the verge of an ice storm. That's pretty nice. It's alright. That's a summer cause I like. So we'll see if this will catch any pike. Might be a little too big for walleye. We'll see. Oh damn. But I got the free. Oh nice. Perks of your uh, your reps leaving stuff at the gas station. Yeah, definitely. My 511 tax on. Ow. Oh bad cast. Oops. All right. That's definitely not going on the channel. It's not going on the video. <laughs> You have to have a blooper reel like once a week. <laughs> yeah, you're all the failed. The countless hours spent respilling my musky rod from Batlash, all the bad casts. Yeah, you could do like a live stream like once a month of you respooling your musky rod and <laughs> talk about how much you hate musky <laughs> So now it's like hailing, but it melts when it touches us. It's just like ice crystals. Yeah. It's hard snow. <laughs> hard snow. That's a good way of putting it. So yeah, it sucks. My hands are gone numb, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, our hands will be numb soon, so we'll be alright. <laughs> Mine already are. What happened to you? Did you hook your- I told you, my hands went numb. <laughs> it hooked itself. Oh god. Oh. So this is what's being used right now, a little swim bait. The storm something. I'm not sure, but yeah. It's just it's something basic, silver colored. Someone's shooting ducks or geese over there. Or something. Wish that was me. Me, me too. I wish I was a duck. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Damn. Watch me go through all of the I had a bite. All of the things I just bought. I had a bite, but I, I whiffed it. You whiffed it? Yep, I set the hook too early. Dang. Or tried. Terrible weather. I ain't no sissy lalas. Yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna catch fish, you ain't out fishing. So the secret to fishing? Fish where the fish are. Yeah, fish, are you here? I threw that right. All right, fish. Last time Andrew and I were here, we saw a lot of uh, little minnows over. Got one. Yeah. Wanna drop the net for me? Yeah. I don't feel like pulling this fish up. I probably could, but I don't want to. I just scoop them up? Yeah, go ahead. Little walleye. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I haven't caught a walleye since summer. What's his name? That's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, fish, for assuming you can do Did he unhook himself? Uh, yes. That sucker did. Sick. Alright, come here. Alright. But well, here's a little why for the YouTubers. YouTubers. Do you have a picture for me? 
Yeah. I can do that. I haven't caught a fish in forever, so this is Ouch. sick. <laughs> it's, it's like your favorite moment. You catch a freaking You're fish. You're kind of holding down by your pecker. Yeah. Sick. Thank you. you. Two. Perfect. And there you go. Good. All right. So now I know I can officially post this on YouTube because I caught a fish. <laughs> Just that one clip. <laughs> Maybe the fish that bought or that bite or that had a bite from earlier. So yeah, I figured this little swim bait would have been a little bit too big for a walleye, but you know, not the case. <laughs> Could have kept that and, and fried out some fish tonight. Nah. Watch, I'm gonna catch like 10 walleye tonight. Oh yeah? <laughs> you care to put your money where your mouth is? No, <laughs> I'm not that lucky. I remember, hey, I flea farm. I was calling myself not a lucky fisherman. Here I already caught a walleye off of a bait. I didn't expect to catch a walleye on. Oh shit, fuck. That was a bigger one. I didn't know. It was pulling out of the water. It was like, <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh my God, that was a monster. All right, well, let's do another surface walleye. Come on. It's like a musty fishing thing. You're supposed to do like figure eights, because a lot of them like follow the bait. Yeah, they like Mario Kart or something. Yeah, which is a lot of musties. What they do is they follow your bait around, but they don't bite it when it's retrieving. And then like once you hit the boat side, you do a couple figure eights because that might just be the snap that gets them to go go for it. And after seeing that surface, that walleye surface, to try to drive my bait as I was pulling it out of the water. <laughs> Maybe I gotta start figure eighting for walleyes too. I don't know, walleyes are like so like musky types of head. And so does Mario. Mario kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the figure eight that the racetrack had it. In August with my grandparents. We were up on Shawano Lake. And the first thing I really know is a 24 inch pike off of a small bucktail. And uh after that, my grandparents had oh. bobbers. And... <laughs> you snake the middle. Do you see this? Do you see this? Get that right there. Any any stupid Fine. fisherman can catch a big fish, but only a pro <laughs> who can snake the middle can catch a small fish. <laughs> who can... is, these are facts. Are we playing that up and eating it tonight? You know, I'm just gonna leave them on there. <laughs> oh my god. So we did three bites in the first like half hour. As long as it's funny, I mean, people will watch it. <laughs> funny, entertaining. Uh, My laugh is not entertaining though, so that's a, that's a big turn off for a lot of people. Just laugh like Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> saw a tweet from this lady, what would you do if you're in the middle of sex? <laughs> Your man starts laughing like Seth Rogen. And Seth Rogen comments and said, I think it's the sexiest <laughs> Yes. He's way over here. He went this way. They're eating the freaking minnows. Well, let's uh. <laughs> that was a close one. No, I almost went face first into the water. <laughs> All right, we're signing off for now. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, I just wanted to go on with a few closing remarks. Um, I wasn't really expecting to catch much today. It's been kind of a slump uh, fishing the past month. So having you know those few walleye bites and just about an hour of fishing, I was very impressed. I haven't caught walleye since fishing on Lake Winnebago this summer. Um, but the bait I used today, for more clarification, was a Storm 360 T GT search bait. Um, I lost the I lost the hook. I dropped I dropped it off the pier, 
right at the end of the night, slippery hands. Um, yeah, I'm a klutz. So we'll just go and get something else or we'll figure something out. But yeah, this was the bait that was getting them to bite today. Um, it's got a nice little paddle tail on there. Nice silver glitter color. Um, clear, I should, clear with glitter, I should say. Um, it was really cheap. What, at Fleet Farm, it was five bucks. You got three of the plastics for, and one, one giant hook and uh, weight head for five bucks. That was pretty cheap. And the walleye seemed to love it today because I had like three total, three or four total bites and one successful landing. Uh, just the craziest thing that I was seeing today was the fact that the walleyes were swimming up to the surface. And I know the, we're at the, where we're, I was fishing today was deep water. We were looking at 10 plus feet deep, right off the pier. So the fact that they were swimming all the way to the surface before biting, that was something I've never seen before personally. And I, you know, fishing like Winnebago, around 12 feet average, or 8 to 12 feet average, and you're, we most mostly always catch them right off the bottom. So that was crazy to see some of those walleyes swimming right up to the surface and then, you know, taking a bite. But it was still cool nonetheless because we actually had to see the fish when biting. It was crazy. I think what had to do with it was there were a crap ton of minnows, like thousands of minnows swimming right at the surface of the water. But, yeah. So, very interesting, very cool. I can't wait to get out there again because that seems to be a nice spot to catch pike and walleye. Last time I went out there before today, um, one of my buddies caught a nice 32 inch pike. Pretty sweet. And it was just about <laughs> my net's maximum capacity, 32 inches. Um, so next time I catch a fish, I will remember to measure it for you guys, but I, I'm estimating around 13 to 14 inches on the walleye that I caught today. But that's just a rough guess. I Next time I'll measure the fish for you. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, please feel free to subscribe, like the video, maybe leave a comment on anything you'd like to see in the future, recommended baits, etc. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great rest of your day.